Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. This is a video for me to share with you guys what I think are the top five ways to earn ISK in a high sec. Get the dank ISK. Some of these methods can earn up to like 400 million plus an hour and you can plex your account with all of these methods as well. So top five ways. So there are many going to be a few runner ups as well to this, not just these five ways. There are many ways to earn ISK in high sec, but these are specifically like the top five ways. And I'll go over some few like honorable mentions later. So I'll start with then number five, what I think is then like number five to earn ISK in high sec. Well, that is combat exploration or DED hunting. And it is basically that you go around in high sec and you look for these so-called DED sites. Uh, there are different ways you can get DED sites. One is if you get an escalation. So if you see these anomalies here, there are certain types that can get escalations when you can complete them. So a hideaway a refuge and a den can get an escalation to a so-called DED site. Now, what's so special about these DED sites? Well, the thing is the DED sites is like a special type of combat site, like one of these anomalies, but you can't see it on the probe scanner. And they have often some form of boss or some kind of loot can that gives very good or potentially very good loot. You can get some very good loot because you can get some faction drops, like for example, a multi-spectrum shield hardener pythom c type multi-spectrum shield hardener this is one of the best you can get from these four out of ten what they're called ded sites in high sec there's three out of tens there's five out of tens even but they're different forms of ded sites these can be got by getting escalations from these anomalies in high sec and they have the potential of getting uh, very good loot because you can get these faction drops like that pythom c type multi-spectrum shield heart and you can get many other types as well you can also get dd sites by scanning down cosmic signatures like you know with using the core probe scanners you can use them to then scan them down if you see any cosmic signatures here there aren't any here right now you can also find dc sites that way the thing is you get the most amount of isk the reason why the like drops you get from these ded sites are very expensive it's not because the ded sites are particularly hard usually most people alphas easily can run these ded sites the thing is is just they're not too easy to come by like you don't always get an escalation when you do these anomalies right here in fact they're quite rare and it's quite hard to find them in a cosmic signature as well like it's not at all particularly easy to find them sometimes you can be lucky but it's not always super easy to just come by them like that and also the drops that you can get from these DED sites, they can sometimes also be quite crap as well. They can sometimes be good, like this faction module over here, but they can also sometimes just drop nothing or hardly anything. So it's very like RNG dependent and it's not my favorite way to earn ISK and that's why it's at number five, but it is like a very adrenaline rushing activity when you actually get the good drops. It's like really a good feeling right there. So that's also a thing that I really like about this activity. And another thing is just that if we've got very low barrier of entry so as i said before the most difficulty is just to get these ded sites the actual ded sites themselves are not really particularly hard to run very easy these anomalies are very easy to run as well alphas can easily do them without any issue so then number four then number four my number four method of earning a skin high sec what would that be well it would be these so-called live events live events what are live events well it is like different seasons of eve online like uh, seasons of the year or like seasons of the game they usually have these so-called live events like a special event for a limited amount of time for example often during the uh, the autumn time or around the october time there's got this blood raider events for example where these blood raiders have some kind of special site which you'll see here this now currently not october so you don't see them here but uh, for example in the, during the christmas time you'll see these sometimes these yule events where these sancha or some other type of npcs they attack uh, uh like new eden and they have these kind of special sites you can walk to here in the overview and they usually drop very good isk and they usually have like it's very usually very profitable to do these kind of sites and i think it's pretty interesting because there's like often a boss that you need to kill in these sites and you can then if you like do the most down to damage to this boss you'll then get the right to the loot and you can potentially get good loot there and it's also the thing i think is quite interesting is because there's a bit of aspect of competition you could say like doing the most amount of damage to this boss can be quite com like a, a competitive uh, task when there's a lot of other players who want to take it out as well so it'll be sort of a competition to who does the most amount of damage to get the right to the loot so i think it's quite like interesting there how you have a bit of like competition going on as well it's not like just all oh, you automatically get to like that the pve site usually isn't the 
most difficult thing. It's usually also a bit of a challenge to actually outcompete other players. And I think that's very fun and rewarding to do. Okay, so then number three for my top five ways to earn Iskin Hayasek is then Triglavian hunting. And this is something that I think is really fun to do if you have like really good battleship skills because you can do this solo. This is a very good activity to do if you want to like flex your marauders and really push their tank to the limits because it's, it's not like too easy to do these but if you have a really tanked marauder like a high tier battleship this is a very good activity to do to get some serious isk you can earn like minimum 100 million isk an hour doing this but depending on the kind of triglavians you find you can sometimes get two 300 million isk an hour it depends a little bit on rng but i would say minimum 100 million isk an hour but you can very well get a lot more than that and basically how it works is that you got these systems here that portrait systems and if you just look in the middle of high sec you can occasionally see like these red dots like you see this red dot right here that's a portrait system in the middle of high sec i'm not talking about these null sec systems right here but in high sec these are portrait systems and what you do is you just take a scanning frigate and go like to adjacent high sec systems that are pretty near to this portrait system like in terms of absolute distance so i could go to this cat system velour maybe derintel system and I'll do is I'll just go to these systems and use my D scan. I've got this filter for Triglavians, and I'll just scan for Triglavians when I go past the systems. And if I find Triglavians, then that means that this is a Triglavian system or a system that's been invaded by Triglavians. And what that means is that there's going to be like a special wormhole in that system, a Pochven wormhole. And you can confirm that by then using your scanning frigate to scan them down. If you find a portrait on hold, then you know, oh yeah, that system is being invaded by Triglavians. So what you do then is that, oh, what I do is I take my Marauder then to that system and I just beat up Triglavians. And after the Triglavians have then been destroyed, you salvage them. And the salvage you get from the Triglavians is really good, really damn good. Like it sells for a lot. I've made videos on this and it's just so good. And I have done it in my Golem. It's really an amazing activity to do if you want to just you love your marauders a lot you can just go and just absolutely annihilate uh these <laughs> triglavians and get some really good isk but it is a pretty high barrier to entry right there it's not like a super easy barrier to entry it's a you need some pretty good skills but if you don't have good skills or you just you want to do this anyway you can always go into the edi public channel this one right here it's edi-public and these guys here they run fleets hunting these triglavian guys and they've got a discord as well you can join and they quite often do fleets here and there's the guy who owns this or the main leader here is this guy here prospector shiplock he is very friendly all these guys here are actually very friendly and they do these kind of fleets and when you're in a fleet it'll be a lot safer because you're like a lot of people you're going to kill the triglavians very quickly and they tend to also have a lot of like logistics uh, ships as well that can like a shield boost you a lot so you will very unlikely die there too so really, if you want to just get a taste for this or you want to do this with other people, definitely join the EDI public channel. I've done it and they're very friendly people. And they also mostly talk in German. Like They're most, mostly German people here, but they do talk in English as well when like there's English people there. So this is a good way to do this Triglavian hunting if you don't want to invest in a really powerful mar marauder, or at least upfront. All right, so what is the number two then, my method of earning Iskin high sec? Well, it sort of is a draw between two and three. I would say they're about the same. There's a little bit of benefits and downsides to them. I would say L4 mission running and burner running. And this is a bit more relaxing, you could say, than running these tr Triglavian hunting. So definitely I would say that Triglavian hunting is intense PvE, uh, but uh, mission running is a lot uh, like more relaxing. So it's better in that regard. So it depends a little bit. Sometimes when I'm in the adrenaline mood, I'll do the Triglavian hunting. Sometimes when I just want to chill a little bit, I'll do the L4 mission running. And basically, when you're doing L4 mission running, you'll come to a point where you have faction standings that are really high. And what I mean by that is that when you have, for example, you're doing missions for, for example, Galente Federation. If you do enough storyline missions and other types of special missions like career agents, you'll get a Galente Federation faction standing very good. This is a faction. A corporation standing is these ones right here. But if you get a good faction standing, then you can decline as many missions as you want. And you will be able to then just keep doing these really good missions and decline the bad missions without taking bad faction standings. Because you can see here, I just declined a mission here. I got minus 0 0.001 faction standing. So I can pretty much decline as many missions as I, I want without taking big standing hits. But if I didn't have good fa fa faction standings and I only relied on my corp standings, then it'll go down by quite a bit. So if we look here. I go into the scope you can see here when i decline a mission i get a big faction 
standing hit. So it is a lot. If you if I didn't have good faction standings and I only had good corp standings, then it would uh, like rely only on my corp standings to be able to do the mission. You need to have more than 5.0 to do uh, level four missions. Uh, you could say that sort of the faction standings complement the, uh, the corp standings. So even if I had like two fa corp standings, if I as long as I had good faction standings, it'll let me do the mission. But if I had like really bad faction standings or then and only good corp standings then i'll have to rely on this and have to do pretty much every mission or almost every mission otherwise i'll get below 5.0 standings and not be able to do the good missions and then there's also burner missions as well you can do as well there are really good missions that you do in like an expensive frigate and you earn a really good is from doing them you get potential for good faction drops you can get really good isk just from the LP. On average, I'll say 200 million isk an hour from the uh, the L4 mission running. I personally do them in a Marauder, a Paladin, and a Nurgle. Really simple setup, really works wonders. I've made a video on that as well. But L4 mission running is a really good relaxing way to earn isk, especially if you're in high sec. Uh, don't bother with L3 or below missions. They really earn nothing compared to L4 missions. It's just the... Uh, the, they just really don't give an It's weird how it works, but it's just exponentially higher for each level of mission running. And you could think L5 mission running would be really good, but that is in low sec. It's pretty risky. Uh, it is definitely good, though, if you can actually run them really good. You can earn a crazy risk from doing that as well. Okay, so what would I say then is the number one way to earn ISK in high sec? You can potentially with this method get up to like 430, 440, 450 million ISK an hour if you do this stuff good. That is the Abyss. I've made tons of videos on the Abyss. It is really good. It's a PvE activity that you can do, which involves you taking a filament and jumping into Abyssal Dead Space, where you have like three different rooms. In each room, there's NPCs. You destroy the NPCs, you take the loot, and you're able to go to the next room. Now, when you do this, there are different tiers of Abyssal Dead Space, and you can then the higher tier you do, the more difficult they are, but the also the more loot you get. So you can start off with tier zero, earn about 15, 20 million isk an hour if you're doing them fast, get to T1, T2, T3, T4, you're maybe earning 150 million isk an hour, and then you go to T5, 250 million isk an hour, and then you go to T6, 440, 450 million isk an hour if you're doing them well and good. The, you obviously need to have more expensive ships, better skills, the higher tiers you go, but it's really always a level for everyone to do. And I've made a really in-depth guide on in how you can like start and progression fits that you can do to get like started with the Abyssal Dead Space all the way from tier zero to tier six. So you can definitely check that out if you're interested in doing that. And another thing that's really cool about Abyssal Dead Space is that it's a good co-op activity on a small scale. You can see here, you can do these destroyers. Two destroyers can do Abyssal Dead Space, or you can go with three frigates, or you can even go with two frigates if you want. You don't have to have It's like a max limit, you can say here. So you could do the Abyssal Dead Space in one or two destroyers, or one, two, or three frigates as well. It just becomes harder if you have fewer people. But you can definitely do this with friends too. And it can be definitely a really fun co-op activity. I've had a lot of fun doing that with my my good friend who does a lot of Abyssal Dead Space too. You can see my videos on that. When destroyers, like using the Draugr, or Jackdaw or Destroyer, we wreck some Abyssal Dead Space and earn really nice ISK. So it's a very good co-op way as well, as well as just a single player way to earn some good ISK. But it is quite risky as well. When you get to the higher tiers, you'll have to carry very expensive stuff and you have to know what you're doing. So that's why it's good that there's a really good progression from like tier zero, very easy to like later tier sixes where it becomes a lot more difficult. Is You could say there's always a level for someone there. So that's my top five ways of earning ISK in high sec. Number one, Abyss. Number two slash three would be L4 mission running and burners and then Triglavian hunting. Number four will be then live events, like these special or seasonal events that occur in the game. Number five would then be combat exploration or DED hunting, where you look for these DED sites that have the potential of dropping really good and expensive faction loot. Some runners up to these methods here that I don't do a whole lot of, but they are very popular still. And they're just personally speaking, they don't fit my style of gameplay. I don't find them particularly fun, but they are people who earn a lot of ISK doing them. So some runner ups would be, for example, mining. Mining is something you could then do in like mining ships, pretty straightforward, very easy. You just go to belts and mine or, or anomalies, ice anomalies, you mine them. 
You could, for example, use a Procurer here. This is a very good ship to do mining in high sec because it is the tankiest mining ship. A lot of people like to gank miners, so that's why I think it's best to go in this ship right here because it's the tankiest one, least likely to get ganked. It also is a little bit less fast on mining compared to the other ones like a Hulk, for example, or, or the other types of mining ships like a Retriever. These mine faster than the Procurer, but they're also a lot less tanky, so very easy to get ganked, and it happens all the time. So I'd recommend to always use a Procurer if you decide to mine. It's what I do mine and if I do them. And these don't earn a lot of isk. I would say mining in like a solo and a Procurer earns maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 million isk an hour, something like that. Last time I did mining, the industry changes have sort of skewed the prices a bit, so I can't remember exactly how much it is now because it was a long time since I mined. But where the big isk comes in when it comes to mining is if you're able to multi-box these. Like people, they go around with like 10 procurers in different accounts mining together. So by themselves, it's not a lot, but if they have them all together, you could earn like 200 million plus an hour. So I think that that is a little bit too hardcore, but there's definitely something you will see some from time to time, like fleets of procurers just warping in, and you can obviously see that they're being piloted by like one person with like names like something name one, something name two, something name three, etc. Well, it is a good way to earn ISK if you want to just chill, because you really don't have to do much. You just have to just take turn it mine, and that's it. Leave it there, watch some movies. But it's uh, to get good isk, you need to like really have a lot of miners, and by itself, it's not a whole lot, and I don't find it too interactive, so that's why I don't like doing it a whole lot. You can also go with like orcas and do these other kind of stuff. In null sec and lower security statuses, then it actually can be quite profitable to mine even in solo, but it's still in higher sec, it's not particularly good in my opinion. Another way to earn isk that is very popular and especially for the business-minded people, is to do trading. You can do station trading, go trade stuff, buy low, sell high. It's really as simple as that, buy low, sell high. I'm not a big trader. I have done a bit of trading in my time in EVE, but it was never really my thing. I find it quite boring, and to be honest, it came to the point where I had to keep such an eye on the market that it just was... It was a, it became almost like a second job and I wasn't having any fun doing it even though I my like my isk was growing slightly over time because I kept buying stuff for low and selling stuff for high. You can go into stations and like different especially like stuff like Jita for example, you can set a buy order so that I say I'm gonna buy this for twenty five million and someone who wants to sell their procure straight away will then sell it for twenty five million and then you put it as a sell order and it'll take a bit of time for it to sell because not everyone wants to buy stuff instantly. You can sort of say that's how a, a way how you earn the isk from trading is that you sort of trade time or the time you have of having something at the right place at the right time because like if i wanted to buy something instantly i could just buy this right here but i can't buy this here because this is someone who wants to buy it for 25 million so if i wanted to if i had one of these and i wanted to sell it instantly i would get 25 million for this but i could also put a sell order here and put it for like 42 million and under, undercut this guy and then it'll take me a bit of time until someone happens to come along and buy it. So it is something you can do and something that many people have become isk billionaires, or even trillionaires doing. But it's not my kind of tea. It requires a lot of knowledge of the market. And I really, I don't find that particularly interesting. So that's also a reason why it became a runner up there. But I definitely know that it is a very like interesting activity for certain types of players. Another way is industry as well, and it's, it is quite similar to the same reason why I don't like trading as well. It requires a lot of knowledge of knowing what is good to make, what is not good to make. You can get blueprints, research blueprints, and earn some good isk by doing that. Uh, you can get a lot of isk by actually making blueprint copies. It's like a good way to get a passive isk where you buy like a blueprint original for a very big price, and then you make blueprint copies of them and you sell these blueprint copies. Uh, these blueprint copies can be useful for people who want to maybe like build a procure in like I don't know say a wormhole or some obscure place of uh, of space where this is a very easy to carry but a whole procure ship is quite hard to carry. Uh, this, so you can sell these then on the market and finding contracts. It's not a whole lot. You see a 250,000 but when you have a blueprint original you can make as many of these copies as you want so it just takes time really. That's all it is. So you can get passive income. And then there's many other ways to earn ISK from doing industry. You can get like a, just produce stuff that is going for a profit. So if you have a blueprint of some certain item and the cost to make it is less than it is to sell it, then you can definitely earn ISK that way as well. But it is not my cup of tea. 
you need to have a lot of like it ties a lot into market knowledge as well you need to know what is the good prices what not the good prices you usually have to be good at like hauling stuff as well moving goods around to be able to like have the items at the right place to be able to produce them etc etc uh it's it requires a little bit too much uh like general management knowledge and like using spreadsheets as well to find like what would be the like, most efficient stuff to build it, i don't feel like that is something i want to do i've tried doing it but it wasn't too fun for me i felt like eve again was becoming like a second job so that is why it's also a runner up here when it comes to industry another method that i have done a lot in the past is incursions that is another runner up right here and i don't do it a whole lot nowadays because it requires a lot of time to set up but incursions you can think of it as like a group activity and the the like pv activity similar to how these in conflicts are here where like you go in a group of like with edi public how you go in a, a group of players and you just attack uh, certain npcs there's something called incursions where the sanchez nation is a certain type of pirates they are invading certain regions of space if you're going encounters incursions you can see that there's incursions going on and these are then where sanchez nation are invading and you can find these special sites that are very difficult extremely difficult to run alone and not even worth it to run alone because you can think of it as when you complete the site everyone who like is on the grid who is like in the fleet who completed that site they get a payout uh, that is the same as if you were to do it solo so you basically only want to do these in big fleets and you can get a very good isk you can get 100 plus million an hour from doing this 150 million an hour doing this and you just you go and join a, a community and who runs these just the same way this edi public does them a good one i'd recommend is warp to me incursions or at least that is what i used to run with back in the day a lot with you can just google warp to me incursions their website and then just look at everything how to join their channel etc that is pretty straightforward not at all difficult to set up or anything they just like you usually would just go on their website and just paste your fit in there and then they'll approve it and then eventually you'll be able to join a fleet and then they'll tell you where to go to and then you just follow their commands really and complete the sites but the reason why it's not one of my favorite methods to earn isk is because it's hard to do the, the incursions nowadays they have a lot fewer incursion systems than they used to do they used to have a lot more uh, i would say the main reason though that i prefer not to do incursions nowadays because you have to put yourself on this wait list often there's a lot of people waiting to join the fleet as well you'll probably have to wait i don't know it could be up to like half an hour or something like that and i'm talking about like half an hour that was when i when there were more incursion systems like i haven't run them since they nerfed them so that is why i don't uh, like particularly do incursions as much as i did before and that's why it's a runner because it just it's not as easy to get into as it used to be and I just prefer to do any other kind of methods like doing the Triglavia hunting, which you can do solo or you can do with these EDI guys. They have fleets going on all the time. There are so many Triglavian hunting systems. So really all you need to do is just find a system really and just get to work. It's not like there's only one specific area of space where there's Sanchez Nation uh, incursions going on. So there we go. That's how I would earn ISK in high sec. My top five ways of earning ISK in high sec. Number one, Abyss. Number two, three, Elf Missioning and Tree Larvian Hunting. Number four, Live Events. Number five, Combat Exploration or DED Hunting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video right here. Hope you guys get some good isk to be able to afford some nice spaceships to blow up in the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.